Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm here with a bit of an update to my crafting workspace. A couple years ago, I had taken you on a brief tour of my workspace. Um, and I have since kind of updated it and expanded upon it. Um, so I just thought you might like to see how I organize my crafting supplies. So basically this is my crafting desk and I have very low ceilings. So I have tried to make the best use possible of the space on my desk and under my desk for storage. So you'll see I've got three beading towers and the one here on the left, I've organized so that way it is primarily my glass rounds that are not pearls um, in solid colors and some variegated colors. And then I have some glass and gemstone chip beads, which they honestly, I these drawers, I can split them into three and four sections. So they hold a lot of beads um, and, and it really just stores these chip beads nicely. So I decided not to move them. They're just gonna stay where they are. Um, but otherwise I made this particular drawer my non-pearl round beads. And then over here, I have the slightly bigger drawers. And we'll take a closer look inside the drawers in a, in a little bit, but basically um, these are all my crystal bicone and rondelles and my faceted rounds. And I keep four millimeters in here, I have these drawers organized. Um, everything's in a little Ziploc baggie. You can kind of tell through the through the drawers that everything's in a baggie. It, it allows me to store more items uh, and keep it better organized. And then here, and it's slightly blocked by my other storage bin, but I've got, these are all my pearl beads. Mostly rounds, but I do have some teardrops and some rondelles. And you can see I've got room to grow. So this is my Stuff It Bin. I don't know if they make Stuff It Bins anymore. Um, and that's the brand name. I had bought this a uh, long time ago at a local store in my town, but you can go online and find a lot of uh, bins like this that are made out of, um, again, the heavy duty fabric with a lot of pockets to hold things. Um, I've bought stuff from a place called Everything Mary and um, Art Bid makes some stuff. So you can definitely find things like this. And I absolutely love this. I've had this for well over 15 years at this point. Um, and it has, uh, it has grown with me. It stores all of my pliers, my mandrels, rulers, everything I need for jewelry making. And then this clear bin over here with the lamp on it, um, right now that's just storing my extra beading mats. Now my beading mat, I have quite a few. I had bought the standard sized out of uh, beading stores and, and online, but then I saw a video, I believe it was from Orchid and Opal, and suggested taking a Velilux blanket and cutting it up to size. Um, so I, I did that. I, I got a Velilux blanket. I made some extra large beading mats. I also bought some, at, at her recommendation, I bought some uh, cafeteria trays, which I'll show you in a few minutes, and cut some Velux blankets to those size. And um, so now I'm set up with different project boards. And then this little bucket, this little three drawer thing over here with the other lamp, this has all my seed beads. So the top drawer is 11 O's, then I have eight O's, and then I have my uh, six O's. I have more 11 O's than anything else, followed by eight O's, and I don't have as many six O's, but I keep them in a separate drawer. 
And then down below, I've got um, these two white units of shelving. And so this one on the left, I'm using for stringing material. And it also keeps my phone charger and uh, speaker for music. I've always got music going. And then on this one on the left, I've got some more stringing material. And then this is where I keep my check beads and my gemstones and some other mixed shape beads um, in, uh, in different kinds of, kind of uh, beading storage bins. And then that center tower of drawers actually has nothing to do with beading. Uh, I also like to sketch and draw, so that has my drawing supplies in it. And you can see I've got other drawing supplies off to the side there. Now, now I'm actually sitting at my desk and we're looking at what would be behind me sitting at the desk. I have three more of those storage bins that I'm using for findings. Um, I have them labeled. I have, um, I keep nickel free stuff because I, I make jewelry for people in my life that uh, have nickel allergies. Um, and I have them all organized by type and they're all in little baggies to keep them more organized. So I just put these in place. Um, I just put uh, this one and this one in place. Um, so I've got room to grow into. Because I had this, this one was busting at the seams. Uh, this had all my, my stuff in it previously. And these are the uh, cafeteria trays that I told you about. There's four of them, and I just cut up the Velux blanket to fit, to fit it. So you can see inside these bigger drawers. So let's do um, let's do a bicone drawer. I've got different bicones, and I like to use these little mini binder clips to clip together similar colors so that way if I'm let's say I'm just looking for um, let's say I'm looking for greens I can just pull out my mix of greens here and see if it's gonna if I've got anything that's gonna work in the project so you can see I have um, bicones and rondelles on this side. Um, I have a small um, drawer that's actually getting kind of full of um, cube beads. I've got crystal rounds and faceted rounds. Um, I do keep a drawer of just four millimeters because um, I put them in, they're so small that I can fit a lot in this drawer. It's, it's, it's a better use of space to put them in this drawer than to put them over here with my other rounds. These are for six millimeter and up. And then um, these are beads where I have only a set number, um, threes, fours, fives and sevens, sixes and eights. Um, because sometimes you're looking to mix and match to build a piece or you only have three left, but that's enough to make a, a focal for a necklace, or I just have pairs of something. So I'm going to use them maybe in earrings. So I will like once or twice a year go through, um, all, all my drawers and stuff and kind of, um, pull together the beads that I only have a couple left and I'll, put them into these drawers and that helps me to make room in the main storage for other um other items and then um this bag here this is actually i use this as a trash bag um heavy duty ziploc bag is great as a beading trash bag for um everything for um when you're taking apart strands 
to get rid of the um the plastic strand if you're bagging them and um i do wire work um even when making earrings and stuff the little the little clippings and little shards of um metal or if you break a bead um i find it's just simpler to keep a bag at my desk and that way i can discard the scraps right away um they when they won't get they won't get mixed up with anything or fall on the floor or anything like that. Um, you'll recall that when I showed you underneath the desk, um, I had a bunch of these bins and I used them for storing my gemstones. Again, um, I separate things out into plastic baggies and I will occasionally employ these um, little binder clips to clip together beads of a similar color or similar nature um and um it just it it keeps things um really organized these are easily stackable and then um I can I can label them on all sides so I know what I'm getting at so I have a couple of these for gemstones I have one for my check beads I have one that I just call mixed because they're mixed shapes they're they, they're not really round they're not really a rondelle um but they're just kind of a a different sort of unique shape um so they go into their own bin i bought these bigger bins for some of my stringing material this is all my eslon and celon cord i have another bin like this for rat tail cord and uh some of my uh some of my suede cording uh because it holds the bigger spools so um so that keeps that organized i keep all of my wire in and again i use ziploc bags to organize it by type so this is all my silver gold I have copper and antique copper and then somewhere in here I have um well I also have memory wire there's all my copper and this just keeps it away from the air so it won't oxidize or tarnish or anything like that it keeps it organized because um, I can just pull out whatever bag I need based on what kind of wire I'm looking for. And then I have another bin like this, a little bit smaller, that I keep my... Um, that I keep my other stringing material in, like my stretch cord. and my standard beading wire. Again, all organized using Ziploc bags. I haven't had any issues with things getting tangled. I always know where stuff is. I can easily pull out a specific bag and determine if I need to get more of something. This is just um, uh, an Ikea storage thing that I keep. I've got these little helping hand clamps with a magnifier, which is great when I'm doing some really close work. Um, some of my beading sort trays, some beeswax. These are some more of my binder clips that I like to use. Um, and then just some writing utensils. I hope you found this helpful for organizing your beads. Um, there are a lot of great videos out there on different ways to organize and you really, there's no right way or wrong way. You just have to do what works for you and your space and your particular stash. Um, so I would love to see what some of you guys are doing. Uh, if you, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos, including all of my bead hauls and happy beading.